right, so here's the former UFC strawweight champion, Ioana Janjacek, for a while there as she dominated all of the top contenders. You wondered if there was ever going to be someone who could solve Ioana Janjacek at 115 pounds. Still, most believe she's the best striker in this division. She's one of the best strikers across all divisions in the UFC, regardless of gender. Very fast, very durable, very tough, but also Ioana Janjacek and her attitude is what I believe carries her to be the most successful. She has this mentality that she believes she is just the absolute best in this division, and you saw it when she was on that long championship ring. And she has been someone who's really maximized some big paper through showcases. She was on the Ronda Rousey Holly Holm card at UFC 193, fought alongside Conor McGregor at UFC 205. She has the it factor and then some. Go on a champion is back tonight. Once again, ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. Well, she's one of the best in the women's game now. And historically, Valentina Shevchenko, she's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's the first. She's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you over today or you attack quickly, she will finish you on the feet and she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his message. It won't show, it won't show up in the back. <laughs> All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Yachecha. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. Herb Dean, Ready our fight. referee for this Ready. one. Well, it just does not get a whole lot better than this. Two future Hall of Famers ready to engage for a second time. Valentina Shevchenko versus Ioana Janjacek. Shevchenko won the vacant UFC Women's Flyweight title in the first meeting between these two women back in 2018. Yeah, and it was competitive, right? We saw when Valentina Shevchenko got down to 125 pounds, she would be a real issue. But in order to make it real, she needed to win the belt off of someone that was respected in the, one of the most respected fighters in the world is Joanna Janjacek. While it was competitive, we saw that Shevchenko is better. She's bigger. Let's see if Janjacek has improved to the point that she can win over the bullet. Oh, nice straight punch there by Shevchenko. This is not a place where you build into something. You gotta be ready to fight the moment the fight goes. So more output, at least in the early going. Take it, okay. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Let's go, get our first one. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect them. Beautiful high kick. Come on, man, I need more Let's go. Oh, you 
You can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Yon Jacek. Leg kick got home. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land, and to this point, she has done just that. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Way to hide that leg kick. Another one. Big shot to the head. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice stick and move there by Ioana Yeon Jacek. She's worked hard to shore some things up defensively, and she is certainly in a good striking groove here tonight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Ioana Yeon Jacek. Great commitment to the kicking game. Two minutes to go. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Man, I'm not sure. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Spinning back fist. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice straight there by Shevchenko. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body. Right now, the target is the thigh, and she is attacking it effectively. Man, it's hard to remember her kicking game being on this level in the past. She made it a focus during training camp, and tonight you see the results of all the time spent kicking during training camp. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Shevchenko. Takedown defense holds up. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. Five minutes in the books. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go now with the start of round ready two. It is Valentina ready. Shevchenko. And also ready to go, the former strawweight queen, Joanna Yonjic. All right, next round is underway. And how about the celebratory tone in that corner after all of the good work upstairs there in the previous round? They're patting her on the back. They're high-fiving. They're smiling in the corner because when you watch your fighter fight a near-perfect first round right. and do it with just no head strikes, you are happy. Their fighter has fought tremendously and it's going to be on her opponent to either change it or get finished. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, two of the more offense. In a ton of trouble right now. Jacek gets hit with a kick. 
Shevchenko's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, can you hear the reaction from the crowd as another outside leg kick lands? It's like taking a baseball bat and hitting it up against the wall. You hear the impact of that leg kick. Leg kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Just a slip there. And Jacek's thigh really starting to show signs of bruising now. That is a deep shade of purple. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. And now a little space between the two fighters. Nice job by the defensive fighter. Nice right hand there. From oh! oh, she is in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Big kick land. Beautiful punch to the body. Shevchenko's bruised on the right calf right now. Clearly, those low kicks, Daniel, are having an effect. Beautiful body kick. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Another nice kick by her there, and as a lot of fighters will say, no pad on the foot. No pad on the foot and no shin guards to protect you. She is blasting her opponent right now. Effective use of the jab there by Yeon Jaichek. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. Extra perfect body shot by her there. She's got her opponent on the ropes. She's got her hurt very badly. Exactly. It's one of the most damaging strikes you can take in all the fights. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Under a minute to go here in our second round. Shevchenko's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Got the single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Back and forth we go. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. Well, she is unrecognizable with all of that swelling. Let's see if we can isolate exactly what caused it. What happened to her face, John? She's <laughs> not the same person that we saw walk into the octagon. She has not been good defensive. She's got to change something, maybe a takedown. She's got to limit the punches landing to stop all this swelling. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third round on the way. Right on the button. Oh, 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 oh,
strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Not there. That is a damaging kick that land. Oh, she continues to punish the body yet again here, just as she did in the previous round. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. You know, Jack Jack's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Shevchenko gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, she gets inside and gets the single collar tie. He's cut. Get the elbow. Really nice job blocking that shot. Right, a lot of visible damage on that thigh as the leg kicks continue to land at will. We'll see if she can make an adjustment here. She's got to switch her stances. I think that's the first. Oh, what a straight line right there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Just work. over three minutes to go in round three. Nice body shot. Oh, how about the slip by her there? I was about to call that out as a land. Her head is moving tonight. It does not take much to really avoid a strike, and she does it as well as anybody we've ever seen. Well, these numbers just continue to pile up. 128 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Jacek. And landing with 38% accuracy there tonight against Valentina Shevchenko. Well, fights like this make this sport the greatest in the world. These two ladies have gone back and forth all night. I don't know who's going to be the last woman standing, but it has been one of the best fights of the year. It's been one of the best fights of the year. Both have laid it on the line. The blood, the bruising, the physicalness of this fight has been so fun to watch. I don't know if I even care who win the fight. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, land. How's she going to try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Oh, huge kick to the leg. About two minutes here to go in round three. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Shevchenko's making things real. She's hurt real bad. Just missed with the left there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. Man, her thigh just continues to worsen by the minute. That strike's not gonna help matters. We'll see if she can adjust here, but it's gonna be a difficult morning for her on Sunday. I'd keep doing it. Yeah. I, I really would just keep kicking her in the leg. Her opponent has found out that that is a way that she can land. She has not shown that she can stop this game plan. Keep going to the well. Keep landing these leg kicks and you'll get the finish. Oh, that bruise on her thigh is just nasty. That is crimson right now. She's going to have fun walking tomorrow. Oh, nice leg kick. Immediately gets the underhook. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, at this point, the bruising on her thigh, I would say, is getting critical. She's not moving as well. And physically, I'm just not sure how many more she can take. She won't be able to take many more. She should have addressed this early. She got behind the eight ball, and she has not been able to catch up. Right now, her opponent is... Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, That's three man. rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Take a seat.
All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. They'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, things are getting interesting, folks. She is back to the stool, appears to be breathing okay, but a huge cut on the bridge of her nose. Yeah, when you get cut there, it's hard to breathe. Your mouth starts to go open a little bit, but the blood becomes an issue. She was not locked in defensively, and that punch right there opened up the cut on the bridge of her nose. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect... Inside leg kick. I mean, you could hear the thwack from here. Yeah, right away you hear it. You hear the impact at which she's landing this kick. Big shots being left. Oh, he smokes. So you want to be a fighter. Back and forth we go between two of the best women in the world. Oh, nice body shot. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She heard her very well. She's in a lot of trouble, John. She's going to have to be so smart to reach the final belt. This is a great fight. Just unable to quite find that range. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Three minutes now to go in this one. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, that thigh is just a mess. Like, I don't even want to look at it anymore. We acknowledge her toughness, but it's going to be a losing effort. To us. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Oh, and now a big left hand. Strike. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Watch knees to the body. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, man, that calf is getting critical. It's hard for me to look at as a commentator. She can barely stand up. She can barely walk. I mean, she is as tough as they come. She tried the poker face, but now the poker face ain't enough. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to stop this fight. Job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by the injection. So how about it, folks? A huge result for her. She gets the TKO here tonight, and this is a celebration that you can be sure is going to continue deep into the night. What is what she expected? She expected to finish this fight. That's exactly what she did. The party's going to be off the hook because she has planned for it all week. What a phenomenal performance by this young lady. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Joanna Yeje Chan. All right, so what a result here tonight. And we're getting used to saying this, Joanna Yeje-Chek, your winner here by TKO. And it's sort of an attrition game for her, not necessarily the one hitter quitter, but a big...